Hello everybody, I decided to make a video because when I opened this power supply from Bitcoin miner, miner I found this problem. It's not very often you can see when main capacitors are getting bad, getting bulging like this. So probably I suppose the voltage that came to those capacitors was exceeding their rated maximum voltage. And that probably happened because two phases was somehow put into the power supply. So 380 volts came into it. And as you can see those wires from fans are kind of melted so the temperature was pretty high and also um, I should check those fans just to make sure they're working in order to check those I'm gonna use my DIY lab power supply which I showed you in the last video those are my connectors, pretty useful stuff for such purposes, just like this, and the fan is working, let's check another one. And this one, of course I messed, messed up the polarity, and like this it is working as you can hear. So now I'm gonna remove the PCB and see. There is also a barista bed. Okay, I remove the screws. Let's see what under and uh, there is some burning but I think it's not from this time as I can see the power supply has been repaired before I can see some soldering was done to this the fuse has been replaced let's quickly measure the main elements make sure they are okay maybe it's not worse to replace capacitors if something else is bad and very bad those two diodes are in parallel and those are good here's APFC diode and it looks good as well that's the APFC MOSFET well probably okay there is no shirt on the capacitors the fuse, the fuse is good well so far so good I don't see other problems diet bridge Good, good, and good. That bridge is also fine. Let's see the output. Output is okay. So, probably I just need to replace capacitors and raster. That's the one. And it's open circuit, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Let's proceed and see what we get. I removed the caps. Let's test those just for the record. Of course, they're not gonna be used one more time. Just to check.
the tester is flickering on the camera and it's five times less than it's supposed to be and there is high ESR reading and high losses and this one take some time and this one is 40 micro this one kind of the same and the last one and about the same volume so now I'm gonna find replacements. Here is the used one. Maybe I will find used ones or buy new ones. I don't know. That's how it should read. Same capacitor but a good one. Okay, now I'm gonna find those. Let's check one more time. No shirt. Well, this is maybe a little bit low, but we check it on the PCB, yeah, about 10 kilo. It should be good. Okay, I've bought those caps. Not the same, but about that volume. I put one just for testing. Also got a new one for Easter. Solder it and let's check. And as you can hear, the power supply started. Now we can replace all of them. And that should be it. Let's do it. All four are soldered, the restore is in place as well. Just like this. Let's test it. And it is working. I always te test it after I make one step. It is a good practice. The man who brought to me that power supply also got the same. So I have two power supplies. Second one I, I will not show you. Okay, that's the final result. The second one, the second power supply, it was even worse. There was some problems with APFC, several components were bad, the fuse was bad. So the one you saw, it was an easy fix. And this one, it was a hard job, but also I fixed it. Unfortunately, I didn't make a video. The second one would be more interesting to watch. Anyway, just... And uh, not the best repair video, but maybe somebody would find it useful. Those are the caps from the second power supply. As you can see, these are even in the worse shape than the first one. The temperature was pretty high. So that's it for, for those two. If you 
like it give it a thumb up see you next time bye